Hello everyone. Last episode we made our silage sausage here and they are at 41% fermented already. Let's speed up time. Today we're going to explore a few new mods that we've added. Uh, first we're going to work with a lawn mowing mod that will allow us to mow the grass anywhere and the bushes and remove them. So I believe it's called Real Mower. So we'll get that one going, and then later on we're going to explore the firewood, or fireplace. No, firewood. Firewood's right. The firewood mod. So we'll take a look at that later on, but let's go ahead and get our mower, if we can locate it. So the first area that I want to try this out on, let's go ahead and get it lowered. Let's open up our menu and see if we have a new option. Looks like zero. Or is that O? All right, real mower is turned on. Let's go ahead and lower it and let's turn it on. So the first area, and let's see, it didn't work. It's not working. Oh, we turned it off. There we go, now it's on. And there it goes, beautiful. So now we can go ahead and somewhat landscape this area without using the built-in construction mode. So it feels more realistic to me. So we'll get this taken care of to start with. This is the first area that I wanted to clean up and then eventually that'll lead us to being able to have nice roads. Let's go ahead and go all the way to the end here. Maybe create a nice path for us to get to the road. And that should be pretty good right there. So we can just do this other side and then we'll come back down and do the middle. And then I definitely want to get as close as we can around all the fields as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this part done. I think that accomplished what we wanted to. Uh, we will take a little, that's way too fast. Let's shut that setting off. There we go. Did I, did I set it right? Did I do it right? Alt zero. There we go. Okay. And close that. Uh, but yeah, so I think that turned out pretty good. We'll go th back and forth on this a few times with the wind rower and see what we have for picking up some grass and maybe get one more bale. That would be, that'd be pretty sweet. But let's bring this over and get one swath here. And then we'll have to go around the outside of the, of the other fields or both fields. And after that, I'll kind of show you in, you know, flight mode, what it looks like from above. All right, we got a wind road, so we're going to pick it up. We'll see how many bales we get here. Hopefully we get one or two, just a little bit of extra for doing some landscaping. We did indeed get three bales. Go ahead and put this over here and then we'll get those picked up and wrapped. And then we'll check out the fire, the firewood mod. All right, let's take a little look at what we've done here. There's a little bit of grass left up, but we can pick that up next time. So we gave ourselves a little bit of a border just around our fields. And you know, we don't own that land yet. We own, we do own the land up to the road here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that space. We might expand the field a little bit or we might put some buildings there. So maybe some greenhouses or a beehive or two, uh, as well as on this side. You can see we did go around it just a little bit. I wanna finish this entrance to the road, maybe do a little bit better detailing and uh, landscaping, but we'll get to that when we can. We just don't have a lot of money for that. And there's some, other, some more of these 
shrubs that we missed along the road's edge there. I'll probably clean up off camera, but I wanted to keep progressing here on the episode. And that tree is outside of our boundary. So we will not be cutting that down until we own the plot of land next to it. But yeah, that's a, a good progress. I, I like that mod and it makes it feel a lot better than just jumping into the construction mode and swiping around and getting rid of the bushes that way. Definitely role plays to what we're trying to do there and it felt good. Yeah, so lots of land right here, space to figure out what to do with. When we get done, I'll, none of this is gonna be wasted. None of it's gonna be wasted. We're gonna decorate it or design it, landscape it and make it look pretty when we get done. So I was busy doing a little bit of tree chopping and we got a little bit of a mess here and we're gonna head on over to the store and pick up a new item that we can hopefully pull with our trailer with our tractor. Otherwise, we might have to buy a new tractor as well or lease at least, but I will see you at the store. And let's go to mods because I'm not sure exactly where this will show up. So let's hop in this way. So we have this firewood processor and sale point and we're gonna have to figure out where the sell point is. Let's go to lease. 450 a day, that's not bad. It's kinda big. We'll get this home and we will get it set up. All right, so the struggle is real. Um, we're gonna put this in, we're gonna, we're gonna take a huge risk right now. I'm gonna go into medium tractors and kind of take a look at something that might be tempting to buy and take a look at some of the, the leasing. Uh, I want the new haul and stuff. So this one's 200 and yeah, that's a huge one. So that might be too quick. What about the bigger, small tractors? Like this new Holland is 125 horsepower. Let's go and look at that mod and see if I was just being silly, if it tells me what it needs. It says only 105, so we definitely don't have 105 horsepower in the tractor we have. So I'm in the mood of uh, taking large risks, and I think this is the tractor we're gonna go with, this McCormick. I've always wanted to try them. I've never used a McCormick tractor. So we're gonna get 190 horsepower. We're gonna add the front loader. We're gonna do the Arceria, Arceria Pro Compact, as well as the GPS, which means that we might as well Probably next episode, we will also lease the soil sample machine. I forget what it's called, so we can get all of our precision farming information and get that going. But we're gonna have to constantly make money. You can see leasing this was pretty expensive, but the daily fee, that's gonna hurt. So this should be plenty powerful to pull this. It's still struggling a little bit. Not one. Do I have something set up that like isn't isn't allowing it to be pulled? Um, I'm really not sure. Let's get better on the road here. So it seemed like we might have been able to pull it with the other trailer. So I unfolded it and then folded it back up, and these legs on the bottom here finally lifted. So I don't know if there was a certain operating position. So maybe it was a mistake to buy this tractor. Maybe we didn't need it, but I have a suspicion I'm gonna be happy with the purchase. Oh yeah, the other tractor would have been able to pull this up the hill. No way. This one's going down to seven miles an hour. Yeah, no way. Okay, yeah, this is a good purchase still. We're almost home. And we did clear out a lot of trees and you can kind of see the difference already. There is a plan to add some back, but we wanted all this land cleared out so we can make as much money off of it as possible. Eventually, we're definitely gonna be placing some trees back. This also gives us a nice idea of where we want to add that road back in. Yeah, that's nice, I can't wait to do that too. All right, let's find a spot for this. I think for now, near this wood, I believe is where we want it anyways. So we'll get that set up, and then we'll have to reconfigure our trailer. Yeah, there's a nice, yeah, that's a nice flat spot here. Let's go ahead and unfold it. And I think at that point we can get off the tractor. Let's hop out here and see if this is one that's similar. 
Oh, maybe we do have to be on the tractor. All right, let's, oh, did I shut that off? Whoops. All right, we're gonna learn live here. Boop. Now, if we go F1, we have all the controls. Okay, let's go ahead and shut off the engine on that one. We're gonna get this tractor back over. It's gonna handle the trailer, so we'll need to get that. And we'll rejoin you at the farm. And we'll switch this to standard. And we don't need the cover right now, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll hop in here, attach it. And it's not gonna hold much, but we'll see. We definitely need an upgraded trailer too. Starting to outgrow some of this stuff already. Split log into six pieces. What is it? So number pad plus, number pad plus, okay. Two pieces, four pieces. So six pieces is probably what we want. So I'm going through this and kind of figuring out, I would do say what I do like about it and I didn't at first was the fact that we're actually pushing buttons to utilize the, whoops, wrong one there, to utilize the mod. And so instead of just having it do it automatically for us, we are actually controlling the machine, which makes it more entertaining and more enjoyable in my opinion. So let's get this one going, process that, try to get these all up the conveyor belt. Uh, this seems like a good time to clean up our mess. So we've done, I think two trees now. And let's go in here and kind of sort this a little bit better if I can hop in here. Oh yeah, okay. So if we can move some around a little bit here. Oh, I didn't mean to grab the trailer, but that actually helped. Oh, now we're in here. All right, so to shut off the belt, how do we just shut this off? Doesn't seem to be using much diesel. Is this one that you can drive to? It looks like it is. Oh, I'm silly, okay. Here we are at the new little selling location. I'm hoping as they start making money, that they will design this a little bit better. So let's see if we have to lower it or not. Let's hop out here, hit R. Hey. Annie. Oh my. 4,000 from just like a tree? I don't, that felt worth it. Let's go back and let's, well, let's take a look at this a little bit. So I had a hard time finding this texture in the construction mode so that's why this is here because i was trying to blend it and this came out okay we got some fences here and we'll see what this company does as they make money you know they just they're gonna have to sell the product that they bought from us but hopefully they you know maybe they'll get a building eventually and some more like a parking lot i don't know we'll see so now that we figured out how to actually be on the machine we get a nicer view of it and there it goes. So it cut that into one piece. And it's going up the belt. Move this forward as far as we can. Go ahead and chop it up. And then we'll process that into firewood. Not bad. So it looks like we are losing a little bit because of the size of the log. But I think that'll be okay. Do that. Start getting a good cadence here. I can remember the buttons. There we go. Move it forward. Chop, chop, chop into firewood. Just kind of, oh, oh, unfolded on accident. That's not gonna help anything. So we will take this load here and see what the damage is and how much profit we're gonna make. Seems like we need a road on this side too. Definitely wanna buy this lot soon, but that requires some money. That's pretty much a full load. So we'll see with this trailer what a full load is going to give us. I think we got seven grand um, when we did it with just logs. But again, this feels like less. Six and a half. So it feels like we moved less logs. I wish I could do some math and figure out if this is giving us more money. We are processing it into another product instead of it just being logs turned into the sawmill. So... Not bad. So we've made about 10 grand right now. We spent a lot more than that today, but another load or two and we're have a profitable day. Actually, let's take a look at that. Statistics. No, we want to go to the money screen. Negative 3000 today. Not too bad. So 
we'll make it a profitable day. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of this off camera. Probably go until it gets close to being dark and then I will give you an update. I know I said I'd come back when it's dark, but I wanted to kind of show the process that I figured out to work pretty good. So we're gonna take this log over here. Yep, we're using super strength, but we're gonna kind of show you this would definitely be a great mod that was teamed up with some of the other forestry machinery. So we're going to move this right about there and we're going to cut right here. And I'm going to place this one on here just to, just to prime it. And that's too far. Let's put it about right there. And then I'm going to grab this log and this is not the best example, but we should be able to, let's demo it. Open. Yep. Push to O and that came up. Now I'm going to just kind of feed it with Z. And then we're going to cut it with B. I'm going to push Z and V at the same time. So that's going to move the log forward as well as split the smaller log that we cut down at the bottom. So you can see how much quicker we're moving than I was earlier. So getting the hang of it. And a couple are still falling off, but we can deal with that and pick them up. And now we get to this last one. We'll push it forward. Now we're going to hit O again, and it automatically grabbed that one next to it because it was a, the right size. So yeah, we just need to get it the right size. And that's why I was saying you some of the other forestry tools that will chop the logs into an exact size for you. And we can do like six feet would be perfect. And then you just line them all up close to that trigger zone on the left there. And then you just kind of rinse and repeat this. And it's a, it's a lot quicker than when I started. Getting the hang of it, pretty sweet. Love this mod. We're gonna get this, like I said, trailer completely full and probably just do this last load for today and just leave the rest of this for processing when we have some downtime. Yeah, this one was a little tougher to pull up the hill, so I think we have a lot more than last time. We shall see here in a second, and it should be a profitable day at this point until we sleep and pay our bills, but that's problem for September. All right, there we go. Well, let's see. 8,300 that time. Pretty sweet, yeah, and we gotta, we gotta get some of that stuff going so that environmental score doesn't keep taking money from us. We need to get the opposite. We need to make extra money from that. So now we're at 4,500 profit for the month, and that's not gonna be enough to cover the bills. We gotta figure that out. I think when we sleep and we see that money tick over, we gotta start keeping track of what our bills are and make sure we're at least making that much each month. So I do want to end this episode by giving a shout out to K-Man for suggesting this mod, a great mod. He's been commenting throughout the this series and series on my previous channel where I was making these videos about suggestions and mods that I should try out. And I'm finally following through with trying some of them out. So again, K-Man, thanks for the suggestion. Keep them coming. Boy, it got dark fast, but here we are. Fingers crossed, 10 grand would be amazing. Ah, 7,900. That's all right, though. We're at 30, 34,000. And we were at 22 when we started this episode, so I'm happy with that progress. And we got plenty more wood to process down there, but again, we got to start working on that penalty. We lost $500 that time. We've lost a couple grand a day from our environmental score, so next episode we're definitely going to start working on that after we harvest. Um, before we plant the seeds, we'll probably evaluate the soil in um, CP2 and CP1 after we mow we could we could I guess we could do the samples at the same time but we'll definitely get that going next episode as well as planting our next crop for the next spring slash summer harvest as well as getting the grass all prepared for another harvest as well hello everyone welcome back to farming simulator on the new lands map today we're gonna do a lot we're gonna get a lot done let's hop over I prepped a little bit here we're gonna go right to the store first. Yeah, the farm mall, the McCormick farm mall. It's uh, it's time. Let's go in here. We're going to repaint it, repaint it. We're gonna repair it, paint it. We're gonna sell it. We're gonna do the same with our original lawnmower and get that out of our name. We're at $27,000 now. So before we cut the grass on this field, which we're gonna have to do this month, or we're gonna, I mean, it's its to our benefit to cut it this month so we can get one more potential mow out of it before winter. We're gonna have to buy another mower. We'll get to that later. We also prepped, oops, yep, that's where I wanted to be. We also prepped this tractor here. We're going to, we are gonna use course play because there's a lot, a lot, I mean, a lot to do today. 
So let's go ahead and hop in here. We're going to go no course, but we are going to generate one. We'll do two headlands, generate that, and open that up. That's, uh, it seems like the course is off a little bit. Oh, because we did nearest. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that, and we'll switch to first waypoint, and we'll see if that works. And let's go ahead and go into the settings, if I can remember the right one. And we're going to turn on wages 50%, so what we said we wanted to go with on this playthrough. And wages are decreasing. Perfect. So, again, we have a lot to do this episode, so I wanted to get this going. We want to also probably fertilize it as well afterwards. But we'll get the barley laid out, and hopefully we have enough seed. But we'll hop over here. We have this prepped. We'll hop out. If you watched my recent video on how to use the firewood processor, you can see where we are losing a little bit of money here. But I wanted to get rid of those birch ones. So we're going to start off with 2,500. So we're at, we're at 30,000. We're going to drive this back. While the barley is being planted, we're going to go ahead and process a ton of those logs that I've prepped. And I will show you all the prep I've done. Let's just get this lined up good here. There we go, shut the tractor off. And you can see we took all the logs that were around and we started making piles. There's a few that we haven't done yet, but we have time for that. So I think we should be good to hop in here and go ahead and get that motor going and start processing some of these. All right, our first load of the day processed here. Let's see how we did. I don't think this one will be huge. Yeah, 4,800. And the negative 355 reminds me of the thing that we want to do next. We're going to drop the trailer off. We're going to head to the store, and we're going to buy the Scout. All right, we've arrived at the store. Let's hop in here, and I believe it's under miscellaneous. It's not under miscellaneous. Where is it at? Where would it be then? Let's just go into the mod section and that should help us get to it pretty quick. There we go. I was being a doofus. $17,000. We are going to buy this outright. No leasing there. So we're going to pay attention to our money. I'm going to try to stay in the positive for the month. We'll see how that'll do. We do have a lot more, a lot more wood to process, but we also need to buy another mower, which might make sense. Oops. Oh, no. Might make sense to do that now. Let's take a look. So if we're in here and we go to mowers, I do want this series here long term. Let's go ahead and risk it. We're going to purchase that outright. 
And just, just to see how silly we're being, this is 3.1 meters. And this one was 1.8. So this is going to be a huge improvement already for us. Let's see. Let's turn this. We'll put this on the back. And then we can back up. And put this on the front. There we go. We'll go ahead and get these home. All right. I think we'll go ahead and keep the mower on while we do this there's no reason to drop it off yet so let's go ahead and get to a good spot to get our first sample here try not to waste any space and if we go over just a hair this way we're gonna have to back up though actually that should be okay let's go ahead we'll drop it on down take a sample this field's pretty big we'll get a good feel of how big it actually is when we see how many samples it takes We could have done that a little more efficiently. That's a lot of samples. So I think when we raise that one, yeah, 13 it is. So let's go ahead and take a look though. If we can, yeah, right here. Our score is at 37. It's hideous. It's terrible. Let's go ahead and send these in. And we'll see what happens to the score. And we'll take a peek at that. We'll just go ahead and drive over here and start prepping the samples on the other field. As, oh, it looks like our worker's just about done as well. Perfect timing. Eh, let's try to do this a little more efficiently. But there shouldn't be too many over here. Okay, those came in. 1300 bucks. so... Oof. Gonna have to process some wood here. So that did... It upped our score by one. Soil samples. Let's see if we can get that higher with this this other side. I don't know if that's taking into account all of our land or just these fields. But that's definitely something we want to focus on. And so we get it up to a good part to where we're making profit off of the environmental score and not losing money like we have been. We've been losing a lot. A lot of money. Alright, so this one is only five. Not too bad. But yeah, it's a little disappointing that that didn't go up more than it did. And yeah, it's, it's getting there. So nitrogen, tillage we'll have to take care of. So a lot of this will have to get increased. So 40 is not too great. But looking at our... Yeah, looking at the type of uh, soil we have, loom shouldn't be too bad. And we do have a little bit of this clay, which, yeah... I'm not too upset with that. It is what it is. Not much we can do about it. Let's go ahead and put the scout away. We'll close it on up. That's definitely helped, and we will be able to use the nitrogen next and get our score up even more on a few other things. We're going to get a worker going on cutting the grass for us. That's going to be so much quicker. All right, and then we'll get the, the back piece. Uh, long term and that'll be even better let's go ahead and get that closed and uh, raise that up and drop the planter off and then we'll grab the gator and put some nitrogen if we have it if not we'll have to process some wood to get some money money's getting tight
All right, this field is done. So let's uh, go ahead and shut it off. We'll close it up, but let's hop in here and take a look at this view. I believe we can switch over to the nitrogen level. And you can see outside we have some grass that's possibly going to be negatively affecting us. So we'll have to see in the long run what that actually does to us. Because if that's the case, I I don't think we I don't think we're okay with uh with that. We might have to use the construction mode to get rid of those fields. And I believe that they're on this map to kind of help out in the beginning. So you can progress a little faster by mowing this whole area and pick up the grass. But we might have to get rid of it because I think it's negatively impacting our precision farming score. So I'll look into that a little bit more, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that that's what's happening there. I mean, we have a lot of improvement that we can do outside of uh, removing that grass. So there's a, there's a huge amount that we can still increase that score, but we will have to, we'll have to sort that out later on. All right, we got ourselves all turned around with this trailer, but we're gonna go ahead and sell a load here. And hopefully, can we do it? There we go, nice $5,000 load. And the penalty wasn't as bad. Let's see, I, I, don't, I don't understand. How do we get, there we go, Four, score is still 40. Soil sampling should be all the way up. I, I, don't, I don't get that part. I know over time it will correct itself. I've, you know, I used it in the past. And the more fields we get, the more, you know, soil samples we get. Let's hop in there. We have a terrible score for our pH and nitrogen. We're going to get all that improved. Tillage, we'll have to uh, look at some plowing soon. And make sure we're doing that correct for what the precision farming is wanting to get that score up. But back to 7,400, that's nice. We'll probably do another load while it's still cutting the grass, while the workers still going at the grass there, and then regroup. We've got another load ready here. This one I'm hoping is pretty good money. It seems pretty full, and I'm hoping it puts us above the $10,000 threshold, which is probably my comfort zone right now with the amount of things we have leased. Definitely felt like we overextended ourselves a little bit, a little bit this month, but I think it was for the best. I think it'll start paying off. Uh, I think I feel like I've said that a lot in this series. We're doing good. Yeah, 7,300. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's, that's nice. Back to 14,000. I think we can take a break from this for a little bit and check on our mowing. So at this point, I'm starting to feel like a lot of the episodes have been really repetitive, and I really didn't want that. So some feedback would be awesome. What do you think? Should we keep going with the repetitiveness so we can see the entire process? Should I do like a mega episode that kind of shows a little bit of a lot of progress? Meaning maybe I do three months in one episode and show just clips here and there, just showing a speed up the process. But like I said, let me know what you think. Let me If you think that the, the pace is good, let me know. If you'd like to see me speed up and do a little bit more different things just to keep the series fresh. I'm open to all the suggestions. Um, and also like on that note, being a brand new channel here, been live for, I guess when this goes live, about two weeks, give or take a few days. Amazing. Amazing results so far. Thanks to everyone that subscribed, everyone that has joined the channel. Absolutely thrilled with the results so far. It's been a blast. It's keeping me motivated. I'm really loving the results. Also, there's a link in the description for the Discord. I'm trying to get that going, trying to get it more, trying to get the Discord going and get it get it more active. Um I try I try to read everything on there daily and keep up with everyone. And I think it's a great way to get the community together and start building our own little community here on the Farming Sim channel. And yeah, I would love for people to join and also, you know, people if you, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. That would help me out a lot. But it's time to get some wind rowing done. I think we could potentially catch up to our mower and be safe doing this now. So I wanted to take a break from the forestry work because that was getting a little tedious. Uh, but, you know, again, wind rowing, we've done a few. So I'll probably just, you know, do a jump cut here and uh, it'll magically be time to do some bailing. just cleaning up a few spots that the course play missed as you can see we're close to being done with wind rowing 
and another hourly fee on this tractor kicked in, so we're back down to 10,000. Yeah, starting to feel like we overextended ourselves. Starting to feel like we overextended ourselves, and we might have to cut down every tree on this property to pull this off. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's how it's starting to feel, so just to limit the time on this, we'll go ahead and park right here. Leave it as is. Hop back in here, and we'll finish the wind ruin. Well, we're done with the wood processing for now, which is kind of sad because this load's not as large as I was hoping it would be, and I do have some logs in here that when we're chopping them up, they're more disappearing than they were turning into firewood, so I figured I'd just go get whatever money I can out of them. So that's what we're going to do, and that's going to be it for wood for a while. All right, last sale for a while of wood. I guess only 4,600. Only 4,600. Okay, so that's where we're sitting. We're gonna, money's gonna be tight. We might have to do a contract. We might have to chop down more trees. Oh man, what a roller coaster of feeling like we're doing good and then feeling like we overextended ourselves with leases. I might not be able to wait until February to sell that silage. That was my plan, but not sure not sure we're gonna be able to do that well the bailing's done and let's see how many we did let's uh let's pop open the statistics it was 39 no that's trees cut down that's silly 31 again so it was the same as last time so we should have 31 and then those other three 34 65 bales we got the barley growing over there and we got some more trees that we could chop down and i'm you know i'm starting to think was that really, was that really worth it? $45,000. Did we make $45,000? Probably not. Probably not. There's some decisions I think we're going to be making. Next episode, we'll talk about it. That'll help speed up the progress of the series. One thing I don't know, I don't remember if I talked about was I don't really want this series to be about repetitive and beating the game and making as much you know in gaming the system where we're keeping all of these bales around until the price is right so i got a few ideas we'll talk about those at the beginning of next episode hello everyone welcome back to new lands today i loaded the game and made a mistake i updated the map yeah it did some weird things before we sleep because we are going to make it august here september october we're going to make it october Look at this out here. Well, first of all, all the trees came back, so I tried to clear up as many as we did. So there may be a few trees back, but in the middle of our field, I noticed... What is this? What is this? So we're just going to move this out of the way. We'll take it to the recycling. I think it goes to recycling. I would assume. But we'll just put it over here for now. Yeah, that's strange. Didn't mean to knock it over. But yeah, so there are some trees. I think this one was gone, but we'll we'll live with that. And so last episode, we talked about changing things up a little bit. And if we come in here, we'll see the prices look pretty dang good. And the fluctuation still shows, but it's not going to happen anymore. So I don't believe we can see a list of mods here. Let me pull up my list and tell you what the mod is called. It is fixed crop prices. So we're going to get the best price no matter what. Uh, I was going to wait for comments, but I was so excited to play that I decided to just move forward with this. Still give me your feedback on what you think about the pace of this series. But we're going to go with this. It's definitely one of my least favorite things about the game is the fluctuating prices and holding on to things like all the silage we have over yonder that we can see right there. So yeah, we're going to do that. But first we're going to sleep and then we're going to sell some of that silage, make some money. And I think today is going to be a little bit about catching up on some of our precision farming as well as hopefully making enough money to get some cover for for the, all this equipment let's get some sleep first leasing costs 3800 a month property 500 about so our bills are about 5000 a month which isn't terrible for what we have in our name so let's go ahead and do this and then we need to find our trailer reconfigure it and we'll sell, I think it's only going to hold six. So we're going to have to sell six at a time. 
Oh, I guess we already had it hooked up to that. So let's uh, let's switch over here. And we'll go ahead and unwrap, if I remember how. Get some little help here. Cut the, I cut it with R. Okay, okay. Close that. Oops, whoop, whoop, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now we'll come over here, make sure we have auto load enabled and for the right thing. Let's go ahead and back out. And we're gonna take this and sell it. So one thing, I did do some research and it shows that there's a sell point up north that gives us a little bit more money. That is definitely not the case. It doesn't exist. So I don't know if that's a bug on the map or not. So we will be going to the animal dealer here and dropping this off. And hopefully we get it a little bit of cash so we can get a bigger trailer and make these trips a little quicker. Well, we made it to the sell point. And let's see. Hmm. About 12,000, not too bad. I think we'll do one more load and then we'll Go ahead and look at that new trailer. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, it's busy over here. Can't believe we put seven hours on this tractor already. Let's get this over here. Let's get what hopefully will be eleven thousand more dollars. And they're definitely going to keep this trailer for grain and crops when we harvest them. But I think that it would be best to get a different one for baling. Another eleven thousand. So we're at 31 now. We got quite a bit over there still. A lot still to ferment as well. We need to get them wrapped. So we're going to go ahead, head back to the farm. We're going to pick up the McCormick and we're going to take that to the store and go look at some trailers. Calling a little bit of an audible here. I wanted to see, we should be able to get away with fertilizing this while we have these bales around still. I don't see why we can't. And I figured we might as well try to get our score up a little bit higher before we sell the rest of those, because we're losing about 330 every six. So that's about 50 per bale. That's gonna add up. Oh, the clouds, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. So we'll get this done and we'll see what it does to our score. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that and just see. I think it takes time. I do think it takes time. It might take till the next harvest before some of this really kicks in. But right now, if we, oops, let's get it out of there. Oh, we're wasting product. Our nitrogen's a 10.5. We can get that higher and we'll see if it changes. All right, so we just missed a few spots here that we're gonna clean up and we did call an aud another audible there and we moved the bales. They were just gonna be in the way. I definitely wanna make some upgrades. This, this, uh, the sprayer is pretty good. It's just, it's taking a little bit longer than it should to take care of this field. And that should do it. There's one little spot over here. Let's see, we pick that up right there. It should spray just for a second. We'll close that. And we'll get this put away. Let's hop into the map. So no instant result like we thought. So that's that's something that we'll just have to, you know, we talked about it's gonna take some time. So we're gonna head, grab the McCormick and head to the store now. All right, so we're over here. We're gonna hop into, actually, I believe this one is in bale loaders. Come over here, it is $16,000. I am gonna go with the black. 
The Roland, uh, the Roland blue is pre a pretty color, but we definitely want this one. And design wise, do we want to spend extra money on that? I think we do. Let's buy it. Got the tractor ready just to pick it up. Ooh, while we're here, I also want to hop in here and find the front loader. And let's, we're gonna, we're just gonna have to go with the cheapest one. Go ahead and buy that. And then also combinations. I think we'll just go, the bale spike would be nice, but I think the pallet fork is what we're actually gonna go with. So we can actually do some real loading of the bales when we are wrapping them. And trying to limit what we're leasing, we could have leased some of this stuff and it would have been it would have been very cheap. But definitely don't want to play that way unless we have to. And we had the money, so it was, you know, easy to do. Yeah, that's not bad. We can, oh, sorry guy. We can see where we're going. Forks aren't in the way that much. Well, it's good to see the drivers are terrible on this map. Well, my recording software is bugging out on me a little bit. I got this place. Let's go in. Oh, there's a nice save. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't fail again. We look over here. We just take a peek. Our sales are 63000 today. And we've spent a good amount of cash, new vehicles, construction costs there to flatten this land. We're going to smooth it out a little bit more when we have more money. It, it costs us a little more than we were happy with. Yeah, this area, we'll definitely landscape it and, and tra terraform it a little bit better. But I'm going to get everything organized and give you a little peek at everything how it's going to be. So this should be the last thing we have to move and hoping the landscape and not and the terrain isn't too messy for us. But we should be able to get in here and straighten it out a little bit. And just, oh, can't see what we're doing. And just back on out. Nice. So let's go ahead and shut the tractor off, take a look. Yeah, everything's organized pretty good. You know, we got this in here just chilling because we're probably going to use it soon. But yeah, looking good, much better. And now we just have our nice area over here for sleeping and eventually maybe a house. So what we'll have to do with this is because it always respawns where you first place it down. I think I will, after this episode, probably sell that and rebuy it and rebuy it right there so we can just pull tractors up here and and machines and take care of them. This trailer here, I'm trying to find a reason to keep it. So I know it's not much cash, but we're gonna go ahead and sell it. Yeah, we're being a little sly here, taking advantage. It's not too heavy though. Plop it in there. No reason to keep it. And yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do all the things. All right, 26,000 now. So the next thing to do is get back in the McCormick. And we're going to go over here and prep our wrapper. And we're going to see how this goes with using the forks and see how um, my patience works. So let's keep that running because we might as well. Let's see how this goes. Let's lift these up. I, I mean, I really think we probably want to do one at a time. Got clearance here? Maybe. All right. Oop, oh, oop, oh, that's not what we wanted to do. Oh, I thought it grabbed it. Raise the forks. And... There it goes. So I guess we're gonna give this a little bit of a go and we'll see how my patience works. Let's see how patient I am. Not the best with 
the front loaders, but we will try to get better. This got really broke. Look at what is happening. Um, that doesn't seem right. I mean, I was doing everything I thought I was supposed to do. Maybe we put another one in. So we're going to hold off on that. We will load the rest of them, but that was comical. Let's see if that this fixes it. All right, it's pushing away. Okay, that seems to be fixed. All right, let's get back, let's get back to it. Seems to be a little easier in first person, but now that I kind of got a good cadence going, I want to see... Yeah, I think I do like it way better this way. So let's go ahead and... And yeah, yeah. So I start to show you. And I fail. Go ahead and grab that one. Oh. Oh, yeah, we got out. We got out of sorts. We got out of sorts there. Might have to back up a little bit more again. There we go. There it is. Not bad. We'll get the rest of these done. And move on. Alright, last two here. We went ahead and moved it over this direction just to kind of help load some of these that were farther away. It was getting a little bit of back and forth there. Let's see, we should be good right there. Just lower it a little bit. Perfect. All right, lower the forks. Hop on out. Not too bad. Getting the hang of it. Let's get in here. And I forget the button is... Oh, don't hit the tractor. <laughs> Only 0.3 hours so far, so just the daily fee on this. All right, we made it to the store. Let's hop on out. Let's go in and let's see what they got for us. One of the missing pieces right now is going to be a spreader. So 45,000. It's definitely the one we're going to have to go with. We want to, yep, yep, and yep. So this will probably be the last thing we lease for a while. Let's go ahead and get that hooked up and then we will buy some bags. Gosh, I don't know if we have enough um, or if, if one load is going to be enough for lime. So that's what we're purchasing this for. And eventually we can probably do fertilizer this way as well. It'll be a lot quicker. Um, what? Oh, let's get into this mode. There we go. Yeah, so one more bag I think would be a little too much. 
so this will have to do and we'll go do some lime I know it's kind of in the wrong order usually I typically do lime prior to planting the field but since it's the first the first month of growth on the barley we should be okay spreading and it should still adjust the pH to help the crop grow as well as the grass so we'll get over and take a look at that and hopefully that'll help our score as well look at that train go it's like a roller coaster almost you know I feel like I feel like this tree was gone too let's get rid of it we're not gonna get the extra money for it actually real quick to get rid of it we can hop in here remove log make sure we don't accidentally use it later stump is gone just like it was before we reset the map all right let's unload this I also think we will go ahead and oops that's the wrong button activate GPS here hop in here and we'll set it to 90 did that work that didn't work delete that 90 oh my goodness we go and then all yeah yeah yep should be good and we'll go ahead and get that turned on and we'll see let's yeah oh my goodness 10.15 tons per we're gonna be taking the trailer back and getting more probably Well, two loads was just enough, and um, that's quite a bit. That was quite a bit. So we got to find a home for this bad boy. All right, we've closed up shop for the day. Pretty jam-packed. We're going to need another one of these pretty soon. But let's take a look and see if we have any adjustment in our scores, which I don't think we will. How do we get that to go away? So nitrogen is where it needs to be. pH is where it needs to be. How did we... Oh, there we go. 41. But we'll see when we sleep. And we're going to sleep now just to kind of test that out and see. I can't remember if it's sleeping or an actual harvest when we get the updated score. Oh, and the leasing costs are going to kick in right now. Oh, those leasing costs were down to 9,400. Oh, yeah, the score is the same. Okay, so it'll probably be next harvest, which we'll see. It's November. This is our last opportunity for the grass to grow. And it is ready to harvest. So we could get one out of it, get a little bit of product out of it. It's not fully grown. And then wait till spring, late spring, early summer, probably for the next harvest. This is going to be summer as well. Let's go check our silage over here. 40%. And these are going to be 39. Yeah, so we could potentially at the end of the month. Maybe, maybe might be December. But this is looking good, you know, all, all green here. Expected yield is 98. Some areas, yeah. I mean, it's just that clay back there is really hurting us in this grass field. I'd rather it be the grass field where it's hurting us than one of our crops. And we have weeds. So herbicide, maybe. And then, yeah, maybe I'm cutting some more grass, you know feel like I'm having deja vu. Hello everyone, welcome back to New Lands, and we have a little bit of a problem. This keeps spawning back in our field every time I log in. I can't demolish it, I can't get rid of it, so every time we start a session, we're gonna have to come in here and move this. Shouldn't have updated the map. Yeah. Wanted to start off by part of the update, there's a harvest in here. It's only 1400, but I've never done cotton, so we're gonna borrow these items 
and we're going to go ahead and do that project or that contract to start out the day here in November. There's really not much for us to do, so I think this will be something good to, as a something new I've never done before, as I mentioned. I think it'll be pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and head this way. All right, we got the tractor following us, so we're almost here, and it looks like we got a little bit of a roadblock ahead of us. We should clean that up eventually. We have that bigger trailer now. That might be something we want to do. Maybe go get a couple loads of that just to help with the income. That might be worth doing, but let's get over here and find a good place to start. Automatic drop. Yeah, I probably want that on. And let's go ahead and get over here. We don't have crop destruction on, so we're okay. I don't think we can damage these. Anyways, but this is a smaller field. So we'll go ahead and... We do have GPS on this. Oh, that's not right. Let's see. Let's go end. There we go. And... Scoot over. There we go. Okay. Okay. That might be... Let's get a little farther over. There we go. All right. Now lock her in. And that should do it pretty good on that first row. So let's go ahead and shut off the lines. Yeah, never done this before. Pretty exciting. I'm not really sure. The back seems like it should be open, but maybe that opens when it's full. Pretty cool. Never done cotton before, like I said. I think we might want to create a cotton field eventually. I know we've kind of talked about some of this, but we're going to have all types of animals and all, all types of productions eventually on this map. And... I'm leaning towards sheep and cotton being one of the first things we tackle. We'll see. Let's go ahead and uh, get this done. It shouldn't take too long. Well, not bad. Didn't take too long. Kind of kind of a nice change to do a different type of crop that I haven't done before, but I'm not sure about the unloading, and we just have that trailer over there, so let's get this finished. We'll get these couple spots. We'll probably miss one of these and have to reverse back because of the width here. Let's lean to the left here. And then, oh, let's finish that one. Back on up. We're going to take it over to closer to the trailer because, you know, this is new to me. So we'll see. So it says to unload unfinished bale. So it'll be interesting because maybe we want to lower this trailer. 
Oh, we hit it. Let's see. Or maybe we back up to it. I don't know. Let's hop down and kind of use some inspection skills here. Interesting. Okay, so let's hop in here. Operating position. Uh, start our engine. And... Okay. And we'll back up like this, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Unload unfinished bail. Oh, that seemed like a mistake. I mean, we're close. That thing's huge. What in the world? And it fell off. Alright, let's shut that off. We'll come over here. Yeah, let me know. Uh, what was I supposed to do there a little differently? That seems good. Now we'll go into this position. And can we lock this in place? I don't know. We turn. Oh, there's something back here. Nice. There's a barn back here. I see a drop off spot. Oh, sorry. Stop sign. We'll have to get that repaired. Taking it with us. All right, let's pull in this way. This seems to be the reasonable solution. That's a nice barn that needs a little bit of repairing. Oh, oh, oh. Contract is only 80% filled, so... Well, let's look at the contract. Some of the contracts on this map, I just... Oh, it does say completed. Why did it say 80%? Silly goose, okay. So we got our money, we got our 1700 and a good amount for selling it as well. Let's get back to the farm. So now we're at 12,000. What to do next? Let's check the percentage of the fermentation. Fermentation? Fermented? See how they're fermenting. Yeah, what's the solution for that? 45%, okay. Might be tomorrow. Well, let's take another look here. So we have grass doesn't really need anything. We could harvest that. Oh, we did talk about doing that. So we'll do that off camera because we just did that last episode or a couple episodes ago. This we can herbicide, even though it says, oh, yeah, we can do that. So let's get the McCormick set up to do the lawn mowing. All right, so they're going at 13 miles an hour. That seems to be pretty not too bad. Yeah, that's another thing, you know, we talked about last episode where the width of these, this gator sprayer is pretty good for the fields we have, but we're going to outgrow it really fast. It took a little bit longer than I wanted to do, or than, than ideally, to do the nitrogen or the fertilizer fertilization on the grass field. So, but this shouldn't be too bad. This is a smaller field, so we'll bust this out and figure out what to do for the rest of November while our workers taking care of the grass. Well, in this lighting, it's hard to tell if we've missed anywhere, and I think we got all of it. We'll see if there's another view in the map section that shows our weed control, and if there's any large areas we missed. Ah, oh, yeah, I think we got it. I think this will be the last pass here. Yep, I think that's good, so let's go ahead and shut it off. Oh, 1% left, look at that. Looks like there's a little spot that's green. I do see it. Let's see if one liter is enough. Um, Let's get right here. I don't think it's going to be. But it's not very significant for the entire crop if we do, and that was all we got. That's fine. I think we'll be okay. Now, I am recording these pretty far in advance. This will be the third episode that I'm recording that is not live yet. And I am waiting for some comments, but I do like to get a little bit ahead on these videos. Life gets busy. And, you know, I record when I have a chance to. The reason I brought that up is I, I am waiting for suggestions on the cadence and the speed that we're moving in this series. And I tend to do multiple months in the winter anyways. So... I think we will be doing that. We're going to get the wind rower prepped. I'm going to create a course for that. And then we're going to be able to use that same course to bail. And I think that'll be a nice little setup there. But we'll let this sit here. 
and let the, tr the mower get a little bit farther ahead before we do that. Gosh, we need to get that back piece so we can make this even quicker. But I will rejoin you after this yard is taken care of. Well, it's been quite a productive day. You can see here we have all our new bales, and we got 26 of them, I believe. Yeah, these are the old ones. They're still got a ways to go, so it's going to be December at the minimum that we get to sell these ones. And you can see money... Ooh, even with that contract we did, money is struggling because we did get a couple lease hits us. A couple leases hit us, so if we come in here, we look at November, vehicle leasing costs, we have 5400 Ooh, sold bales, that was from the contract, wage income, miscellaneous, oh, that was me correcting something that we did with some construction costs that I did earlier, just smoothing this out, and I gave myself a little bit of uh, leeway there. So it's time to make it December. Let's take a nap. $968. Poof. Poof, poof, poof. And it's pretty dark. We'll we have to speed up some time. We need to be a little bit later. Let's go ahead and skip forward to at least 9 o'clock here. That seemed to do it. That's a little bit better. Let's go check on our silage. 91%. So just a little bit more time needs to pass and we'll be able to sell these today. Yep, let's take a look in here and see if there's anything we can do. No contracts in December. So we have some nitrogen issues here. Not issues, but we would need to do some fertilizer here. It's okay, but we want it to be good. And then I don't think there's anything for us to do on the barley field. Yeah, I mean, there's a few spots that, that are saying that there's still herbicide needed, but I think we're good. We're good here. Sue... Gosh, so one of the things I'm debating is switching this to an actual crop, and then in June... Oh, maybe we'll do that in June. When we harvest this in June, we will replace it with grass in the smaller field, and this will turn into a crop, as well as starting to think about, when we get a little bit more cash, buying another plot of land that's near us. I want them to touch, but maybe we won't. 51,000, 19, about 20,000, 68. So yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that. This one's 34. Back here wouldn't be very helpful. I really want this 68,000 one. We could put probably almost two fields in there if we really wanted to do smaller ones. And this area, I'm kind of thinking about productions. Yeah, let's get some time to pass. And actually, yeah, those need to ferment so we can't load them yet, but yeah. Some time, get those to 100%, get them sold, see where we're sitting. One o'clock, all this should be silage. Let's go to the whole, yeah, the back should be first, so that should have turned first. What about this other set? It's close, okay. So we'll start getting these ones. Let's double check this, that's not ready. It needs to start right here. We don't want to accidentally unwrap ones that aren't ready yet. We'll get this going, we'll get it loaded up. And we'll go see what kind of money we're sitting at. Oh, just three that don't fit? That's unfortunate. All right, we got 28. Hopefully the tractor can get up the hills. We're definitely gonna have to take roads for this, but I will meet you over at the sell point. All right, I think we're in the right spot to get them all sold in one go. Let's uh, remember the button on this one. Unload here. There it goes, got them all. 51,000 plus 3,100 environmental score. That's because all of a sudden we're at a 70. So harvesting this field did increase that score. All things are looking up. All right, let's see what three gets us. Not bad, about six grand. Sitting at 61,000. All right, so we had to get through most of January before the silage was ready, but let's get them all unwrapped. We'll get them loaded up, and I think, uh, unfortunately, we'll have to do two trips as well. But we got the trailer pointed the right direction. And let's make sure everything's all set. Do that. And then, like that. There we go. Just loop around and get those. Oh, maybe we do have enough room for all of them. I thought it was 26, but it's looking like 24. Not bad. 
Did we lose two? I don't see any. Alright, let's get over and see where we're sitting. Nice. Nice, nice. We are over 100,000. Let's get back to the farm and figure out what is next. So all that's cleared out. We probably should put that away. You can see here we have the fertilizer taken care of. I did take care of that in December. So we're sitting good here. We could do a little more lime, but I think we'll be okay. Over here, we're looking perfect on both. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to, you know, there's no contracts. We could cut down trees, but I think we're just going to hop ahead forward to February. Get that reduction, I think. With the leasing costs, we should be good to still be above 100,000. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got seed there, too. What is the lowest? 40,000 there. 31,000. There's 34,000. This one, yeah, 17. We might pay that one off. 51. This one, no, I don't even want to see. 169,000 still on that. 31,000 here. Let's go ahead. Yeah, let's do this. All right, we're not leasing that anymore. That did deduct money pretty good there. Let's also go into, oops, into this mode. And while we have the cash, we're going to go ahead and, yeah, let's buy it. Awesome. Okay, so we got this new land, and I think the rest of this month we'll probably focus on cleaning it up, knocking down some trees, designing the fields, making sure we have a good area selected for sheep, I think is what I want to do first, and maybe chickens and bees as well. But yeah, this is this is our land now. So, yep, some cleanup, like I said. A couple new fields probably, and some trees. Hello everyone and welcome back to New Lands. Today we're going to start outlining the field, at least one field that we're going to add to the new land that we purchased. Just to kind of remember what's going on with that, let's click on farm map. What is the button there? Farmland. You can see all of this land in 47 is ours now. And you can see where the tractor is. We're going to start outlining the field. And so we have this one on because GPS can help us. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do allow to create fields and we got to turn it on and lower it as well and it starts creating it. And now we can go in a straight line as much as it'll allow us here. And we'll check periodically here when we get close to the edge of our property. Let's go ahead and check now, let's see. Oh yeah, we got a ways to go. This is gonna be a good size field and I'm thinking this direction, we might be able to sneak in another field. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. All right, let's check now. Let's see, where are we at here? All right, we'll go ahead and keep going. Okay. I think that's good. So now we'll have this option on and we want to hit Alt and Home. No, Alt and End. And that will change us to that direction, but let's go ahead and raise it. And we're gonna back up and line up pretty good here. Get over to about right here and we'll hit Left, Alt and Home and push forward. Yeah, that gets us where we want. We'll get on here and lower it. Lock in our direction. We're gonna go a little bit towards here. Probably about right there. Go ahead and raise it up and unlock GPS. And this one, I think I want to do manually. I want to do this without GPS helping us because I want to put a little bit of a curve on it. Follow the road a little bit. Staying, trying to stay consistently away from the road. Like so, and I think what we'll do after we do the outline is we'll get the lawnmower out and take advantage of some of this goods that we have in the ground here. There is some grass. 
And we can also put the lawnmower mode on to help us clean up some of the stuff we don't want around. Kind of curve in like so. It's going to be a decently unique shaped field, especially for me. Let's go to about right there. And then let's go ahead and get lined up. And we'll hit Alt and Home again. Perfect. So now we can lock this one in and go ahead and press forward. And if we're lucky, we'll line up with our mark. If not, we can we can clean it up later. Gonna be pretty close, not too bad. Slow down so we don't run past it. And there we go. Let's go ahead and shut that off for a second. And let's see if the map's not completely updated, but we should be able to come in here now in this mode and draw our field. There. There. And we'll have to do little marks here to get the bend to work. There we go. All right. So that's added, and we can do soil samples later on. I want to think about sneaking in another one here, and I just don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at the terrain. So if we took it from about here back to around here, we could sneak both directions, a decent-sized field here, and really start helping maximize our profits, which is what I'm really thinking about here. So I think what we're going to do is we'll get the lawn cut pretty much in almost this whole area. And that'll give me some time to, to really think through some of this stuff. Yeah, and then we'll maybe get that cultivated. We want to get that done. Oh, we need to speed up time. I always forget. We need to speed up time, get that going. But yeah, we'll get our lawnmower set up and uh, meet back over there. We got it all prepped here. We got real mower on, so it should take care of the bushes. And we are using the other tractor that does not have GPS, so we'll let it kind of, you know, we won't rely on GPS here, but we're going to take care of most of this. And you can see the yield showing up. So those are actually grass areas. After this, I am going to take leisure in removing that and... It, 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 that's definitely something that I think is kind of odd about the way our the map and precision farming is going to interact with everything. So definitely want to get that taken care of. And this will be the good test here. Let's see if this bush does go away. Oh, I don't think we own that land, so it did not. So all right, we're going to plug away, get some of this prepped so we can potentially put another skinny field here and uh, also cut the grass on the new field that we outlined so we can get that cultivated and all prepped for a uh, crop being planted in it probably in March.
I think that'll wrap it up. That's pretty, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. We do have some of these trees that we'll need to process. And I think we'll do, yeah, some spots we missed. I think we're just going to do regular selling of the trees. I don't think I'm going to spend the time to do the firewood mod because I just don't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. So it is pretty cool. I think there'll be times when I will use it in the future, but I'm actually debating figuring out a way to sell it and get our money back. And um, cause that was, you know, that was probably a mistake financially for the type of gameplay we're doing here, the playthrough we're doing here. So let's get this one out of the way, get these trimmed up and I will rejoin you in a few. Might've made a mistake here and I wanted to try this before we got too loaded. I forgot that this is only for bales and it doesn't have straps to strap in this wood. So we're going to try to make it over to the cell point and see what we can do. And we just lost one. So we'll pick that one up. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try to get there. I'll uh, update you in a little bit. I think the firewood cell point is going to have to, it's going to have to be good enough. Let's see. Did we cover up the, oh, we might've, okay. Let's back up just a hair so we can get to it. All right, not too bad, 7,000. We got a good amount left there, so we could be looking pretty good after this. I'm gonna get the rest of this taken care of and give you a little financial update. Well, here's load number two for the day. I'm hoping this is enough for the money we're gonna lose by the lease that's about to hit us in point one hours of operating of the hourly fee. Oh, fix it, fix it, can we fix it? Let it all fall. There we go, okay, let's see what this is. That was close. Another five grand. We'll take that. In the last load of the day, and we can get to wind rowing, and we need to take a look at the weather because I have some concerns with the snow incoming. You know, three more thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and try to get this home. Yeah, get wind rowing going. Let's, let's take a peek at the weather first. Looks like, ooh, we got a couple hours. We got to crank some of this out. Do a couple little passes here just to start moving some stuff over. If I can get the vehicle to go straight here. The tractor is uh, wobbling around a little bit. So I want to pull that over like so. We'll go ahead and raise it. And we'll come back. And yeah, this, this uh, it's not going to be a lot. It's not going to be a lot of grass that we pick up. But I think it will be worth it. The trees alone were a good help at working towards paying off for this land. So it's it's not going to take long for this to really start benefiting us and, and, and be a profitable plot of land. Let's go ahead and get the width set up here. And we will go with 90 degrees because the direction we're going. Lock it in right here. Whoops. That lowered. And we'll see what we can do. Let's just get a small little bit here. And then we will switch on over. Wind rowing our crop. That's uh, that's not ideal. Let's raise that up. Yeah, we'll bust this out, get it done, hopefully before the snow comes. Yeah, just popping in for a little update. The wind rowing is done. Now it's time to pick up the little bit of passes of grass that we have here. And we've already missed some patches. So it's going to be a little rough. It's, uh, I'm going to guess four, four bales. That's my guess. We'll see how that goes. I will give you an update in a bit. And we just beat the snow. It just started snowing. And we're going to take a look at our statistics real quick. We got eight bales. That's awesome. All right, let's turn this off. Raise it. We'll take it over. Get the trailer. Pick those up. And yeah, hopefully this isn't too bad of a storm that uh, prevents us from doing some of the work we want to do. We'll put that there. We'll, we'll put it away later. And we didn't do a good job at parking the trailer earlier. So let's, uh, let's hope. Not bad. Decided to just do these by hand since there's only eight of them. It'd be a lot quicker to just do it this way. Yeah, a little cheeky, but it is what it is. There's three. Oh, 
over here making a game out of it. Let's see if we can shoot this in. Let's see, is it ready? It's ready. Oh, too far. Let's grab this one. Oh, just too far. There we go. Let's let it load up. See if we can get this one. Juke move. And jump shot. Oh, just short. Well, the weather's not going to pass, and it might get worse tomorrow. It looks like rain, which I don't mind cultivating in the rain. It would get pretty muddy, but let's go ahead and we'll get things covered up and call it a night. Um, well, this is going to put a damper in our plans. Rain, it's got to clear up soon, right? It's got to. Let's see. Let's get. We're gonna have some time pass here and just see if it gets to better conditions. It does look pretty nice though. There, it's clearing up. All right. So we lost some time there, but it's noon. Let's see how much we can still get done here in March. That dang thing. Got some weeds growing. All kinds of problems. I find it interesting that the weeds grow in the winter, but the crops don't. Anybody else find that interesting? I think what we need to do first is probably another pass at the entire headland just to give us a little bit of cushion so that we don't, ah, you know, go a little too fast and ruin things. But let's go ahead and get that. Yep, that is set up right. And then we'll go here at zero again. And then, we'll see. yeah, we should be good. Yep, perfect. Okay. Let's get a couple passes here. We're going to turn on the line, the guidance. Oh, yeah, I guess we should do that as well. There we go. That's much better. Let's get that line taken care of. Back. Oh, got to get out of that mode. Oh yeah, it's going to be interesting to get this cultivated. Really wish, really wish we had more money because it would be really helpful to, we're going to not do autopilot or autopilot. That's not what it's called. We're not going to use GPS here. We'll go ahead and just do it ourselves. And then once we start going up and down, we can use some GPS to guide us. But this, I don't know, this might not take too long cultivating. There is some terrain here, so there might be some spots that are a little bit tougher to climb. But this is nice. It's not just a flat terrain map. I love it. Alright, so we'll get this done and enjoy. Well, the field's cultivated, and it looks like some rain is coming soon, so we're going to get and go check to see how much lime we have, because I would love 
to get that taken care of before we start working on this second field we're gonna build. We got 28%. We might as well get as much out of it as we can before we head into town and get more. Just not sure how that's gonna go or how much we're gonna need, so. Get turned around here, ooh, ooh, ooh crazy driver. Nope, spread it a little too soon. Oh, we were supposed to do soil sample first. I'm getting so ahead of myself. We're just gonna purchase it. Purchase all of that information and I'm not sure how that's gonna play out in our favor or not, but it does show us all the areas where we need to get rid of the grass. So that could be beneficial. Could be beneficial, so that probably cost us a little bit more money than it would have. But I think I think it'll be worth it. It saves us some time. Shut that off there. 23%. And now we're getting the exact amounts that we we want. Closer right there. Oh, that's a lot right here. Ooh we. Well. Maybe we can get through most of this field. That first section needs a little bit more too, it looks like. Oh, we're gonna be so close. Oh, so close. All right, well, we are gonna have that other field to do, so we're gonna go ahead and head to the store, get this filled up. So we're going to attempt to have the worker create this entire field. We are paying them. Um, I just, I don't see the start spot and I'm hoping I didn't make it too close. And, oh, cause you're starting that direction even though I clicked the other way on the setup. Well, that's, a strange way to get there. Okay, so it is creating the field. We'll go ahead and watch the first pass and get this guy out of the way. And needs to pick up the cedar, so we'll go ahead and head that way anyways, and then we'll come back and take a look. All right, turning right here, making a nice little angle that we created. Didn't want to make it a complete square, but I wanted to keep that road available. So this is going to be a smaller field. So this will be some crop that we want just for extra feed, probably for animals when we get them. Let's start thinking about that. we got to save up money to be able to buy some of those. Some of those things. Some of those buildings. All right, well, that is created and going good. And no more time to waste because it's getting late already. And we want to get at least the seed in the ground here. And I think we landed on oats. Yeah, we can plant oats. I think that's what we want to do. We might do soybeans in this other one for this first pass, even though that doesn't really help any of our animals. But that will be for later on. So let's get this to oats. And I just passed it, didn't I? I always forget the logos. There's our oat. Oh, I guess we should lock in. There we go. Perfect. All right, and I think we'll just go up and down and not do a headland here. I think that should be fine. Let's get this done. All right, just a couple passes to go here and we got our oats sewed. Very quick job. We are using some overrides to go a little bit quicker. I'm trying to stick to the recommended 15 miles an hour, but you know, sometimes you just get a little antsy. And see, I think that's a little spot just a tiny spot missed. Yep, got it there. Everything counts at this point. Just got to double check that we can cultivate soybeans before we decide to plant that in this other field. I believe the cultivator can handle it. The cultivator, not the cultivator, the combine. Make sure we can harvest that stuff. I'm a little tired. So let's put this away. Looking great. Look at this field too. We just got one spot to clean up. There's a little bit of wood left over. Yeah, been very, very productive session. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. 
So a lot of a lot of prepping, not a lot of you know money, not a lot of financial progress, but that's not what everything's about. We're setting ourselves up for success. I think things are going pretty good. And like at times I'm a little sad looking at the money. We don't have animals yet. We're not really making a huge profit. We're not buying as much land that I was hoping for. But it's all gonna come. It's all in time. We'll just have to be patient and we'll get there. And we're going to get this whole place decorated, designed, landscaped, detailed, all to our liking before this series is over. And it's it's going to be awesome. I mean, it's already starting to look good. I can't wait to have a little bit more cushion to start doing some landscaping. Debating installing the free landscape mod, because it's really what I want this series to be about, is designing out this town and our, our portion of it. What happened there? That's weird. Hmm. All right, well... If we hop in the map, um, interesting. Don't want to do that again. I don't know why that did that, but our overall score probably dropped as well. When we get out of there, click, click something else. Uh, 63, not too bad, not too bad. So this says the pH is good, pH is good. All right, all right, we can dig it. Maybe we sprayed that already when we were over here. That might be it, that might be it. What? That's gonna do it for this episode. Next episode, we'll pick up with probably fertilizing this, getting this nitrogen into a good spot, as well as planting some seeds over here. The next episode, we'll be able to get a little bit of cash here. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to next month. That should be probably a little over $4,000 right there, which will help pay for some of the leasing. We might have to take some more trees down to pay for some of the leasing, or you can see we're at 15000 Leasing fees are killing us. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to New Lands. Today, we're going to plant some soybeans, but first, we're going to check on our harvester and see if we can actually do that. Take a look. Yes, we can. Perfect. All right, let's get in our nice... Oh, oh, big tractor. I think I accidentally turned something on. Let's go make sure. We don't want to get some fees just because this thing's running. It is. All right, shut it off. All right, let's get in here. And we'll get this switched over. Soybean. And I guess we should start that as well. All right, get the motor started. That way we can drive. 33%. I'm not 100% sure that's going to do it. But let's get it lowered. We get started and we're getting right into it this episode. I love it. Oh, oh, we want that speed to be set correctly. Don't want to go too quick there. Yeah, not bad. And you can see in between episodes, I did clean up some of those grass spots that we were talking about. I think that's going to help a lot because it's uh, it looks a lot nicer already. So I can't wait to do that with the rest of the areas that we've already purchased. But we'll go ahead and bust this out and I hope you enjoy. It's definitely nice to have a smaller field. We get this last little spot here. And I think there's one more spot that we missed up here. Let's uh, 
Go and see if we can find that. Yep, there it is. So yeah, we definitely made short work of that. It was just, it's not too bad. I love having these smaller fields. Mixes it up. The rest of the fields are decent size. So now we have like two large fields, I would say. A medium field and a small one. So it's a nice little variety. Gosh, I'm just itching to decorate this whole area, flatten it out, landscape it, and all of the things. But now we got to figure out if we have enough nitrogen to go ahead and fertilize both of those fields. Got an gator here, just going to go back up and fill up what we have over here. Oh, oh, that should be close enough. That was it. Just a drop. Just a drop. So we're running into it interesting time on the farm where there's no money right now coming in well we have those bales over there that we could check the grass isn't ready to cut the barley's not ready to harvest the oats are just getting ready starting to get a little nervous starting to get a little nervous let's go ahead and open this up go ahead and turn that on and oh man the map's gonna help us here but we're not able to really see where we've been let's get far enough over we'll get this 29 percent or 28 percent used and see where we're at and we'll have to take a trip to the store and pick up some more nitrogen and we might have to take a look at contracts here because uh money's uh, a little tight right now All right, well, we're out of product, so we'll have to go get that picked up. But I do want to take a peek. We're going to get to the side here at contracts. Because we might get that going and see if we can pay some workers to do that for us, just to make us some money. Let's take a look. It's just a bunch of bailing. Fields of five owners, small. This is a decent amount on the highway. Gotta really look at those real quick and then I will get back with you. Go ahead and pick field five. If we jump into the map here, you can see it is right over here. Let's go visit that and take a look. So it might be tough to figure this out. I believe it's this, yeah, this yard here. I mean, that's not bad for $5,000. It's not bad at all. So let's go ahead. We'll get the first piece of equipment going. And then head on over there. And looking at the size of it, I might have to do all of it myself. And it might not take very long. But all we have left to do really this month is finish that fertilizing. So I'm not too stressed about finishing out the day without doing this contract. I mean, this is grass mowing simulator, right? That's what we've been playing on New Lands. Unfortunately, I think that's what... The one complaint I would have about this map is the little bit of thought that I would have put into it about how contracts are playing out that we're really doing the same thing a lot, and I apologize for that, and I hope you're sticking with me, but we're going to break through that. We're going to get a financial breakthrough eventually. So I won't do too much of this on camera, but we'll show a little bit of it. All right, I think we're close to this property. I think it is just back 
here. Not this one, but yeah, right here. And if they want me to cut the grass, oh my goodness. I don't think I'm going to use this back piece. Let's back it up here. We're going to drop it off in this parking lot over here. I just, I don't, well, let's leave it on. We'll see. We'll see. Let's switch to the front one. Let's get that all unloaded. Uh, nah, let's, let's, uh, I mean, they gave us the equipment. Let's see if we can use it. Because it would be quicker. Um, lower that. And this should be a really quick job. Yeah, no way this equipment works here. So let's go ahead and shut that one off, raise it, and close that in. Just kind of wondering if this is even going to be enough for one bale. Like, I don't know. And what are we, what are we supposed to do here? Four. Back in, I guess. All the way back there. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that's interesting. It's a couple spots where you can just kind of go through. Hmm. Huh. Makes this a little more doable. Hoping there's two bales here, cause I'm worried one's not enough to fulfill the contract. And auto unload. Yeah, so let's, uh, we're so close that, let's do this. We'll just run over here and turn this in and see what the percentage is. Um... Okay, so if we get one more, we should be able to complete it. Not too bad. Get over there. All right, 22%. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, we got a little bit of money there. Let's see if we can get one more bale. For our own money. Definitely not enough to pull it off. Let's go ahead and what? 98%. So, we're not playing that game. This was hay, round, and we're gonna accept that. It's gonna fall right in there. And that didn't help either. Okay, we're gonna cancel and we're gonna give ourselves $5,300 cause that's how we're gonna roll. Add. 5300 And we'll remember not to do those contracts again. Ay, ay, ay. We failed it, so it's still like that. <laughs> All right, now to pick up from where we left off. See if we can figure that out. We got our contract done, which was kind of a mess. Let's see. Okay, like you can't really tell where we fertilize, can you? Go this way. Just go ahead and get it turned on. We'll see what happens. There we go. So that contract was kind of annoying. Um, dude, you got to keep that in mind with these contracts on this map. and Not the best. It could have been done better, but 
I don't know. We'll still turn this into a pretty awesome city. All right, we got most of the fertilizing done. There's just a couple specks. See if we can hunt them down here. I would not recommend staring at the mini-map with all those colors. Oh my goodness. I see spots. Oh, just back up just a hair and we'll get that last piece. Should turn on there, perfect. I guess it doesn't want to be treated. There we go. All right, shut it off, fold it on up. We can put the gator away. And we'll probably, 59% should be plenty for this field, but I don't know if we're gonna need it. Seem to remember soybeans don't need fertilizer on precision farming. Let's go ahead and hop out. We'll go get to the cedar and we'll see if we have enough seed to plant some soybeans. I already planted it. Ah, uh, completely forgot I already did that. Well, that's awkward. But yeah, if we take a look at this, it says nitrogen zero of zero. So the soybeans do not need fertilizer. So the next thing is going to be probably herbicide on some of these fields. And then, oh man, we're close. We're close. We got a lot coming up. We're going to be able to harvest this, I believe, in June. Is it June for barley? It could be June or July. Let's go check out our silage. 95%. So let's go ahead and get some time to pass for that. There we go. We'll get these unwrapped. And get the tractor over here for the trailer. And we'll go see if about eight grand. Oh, no, 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 no. A little over four? No. That's only like 2,400. We'll see. All right, there's five of them. Just got to turn enough to get these three, maybe. Yeah, we'll loop around. Let's go see what our profit is here. All right, we're here. Time to unload. Oh, whole fort. 14,000? We underestimated that. That was a nice surprise. Let's get back to the farm. But, as I was saying, I got a phone call from the dealership about a recall on this firewood processor. So they wanted me to return it and gave me the option to have it repaired or just return it and let me out of my lease. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this as an opportunity to just return it. Well, that's one thing less to worry about. Between the money we got for selling the silage and selling the trees, that the new field has definitely helped us stay afloat while we start expanding. $28,000 that'll definitely get us through till the next opportunity we have to spend money or to make, to make money, excuse me. And I think that's a pretty good spot to be in. I would like to get some animals sooner than later, but that will have to wait for a good amount of money. Got to clean this place up and but I think that's going to do it for this episode. We'll get this place cleaned up before next episode. And probably not sure there'll be much to do in May. We'll have to maybe do some herbicide on the two fields and prep for our harvest in June. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to New Lands. Today, we got a little bit to do in May. We'll probably be a short month or at least a short, yeah, a short little session here. We got herbicide already prepped in the gator and we just got to take care of that on these two new fields oops that was a little early just got to spray some weeds and make sure that we're good to go for the rest of this harvest and then after that we'll probably be quickly moving to june because there's not much to do in may right now we got we got everything prepped everything done no real contracts for us to do Money's sitting okay, so I don't think we'll spend time cutting down any more trees. Yeah, I think it's time to, you know, get the herbicide done. And then get to June, and hopefully our barley is ready. And we can get that going, and then potentially buy some chickens. Maybe some chickens. But let's get, let's get this going.
All right, well, that was kind of a pain. Uh, I think we'll definitely go and herbicide or spray or weed oat fields a little earlier moving forward. I think that's going to be good enough. You can see we also missed some in this barley field, too. Eek. I really hope these are ready next month. All right, well, I don't, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do this month, so we will definitely be taking a nap now. Let's go ahead and park the gator by the, by the tent. Why not? Ah, oh, we're in the thick of summer. It's June. 3,700 for our leases. That's not too terrible, and we're about to start making money. Each month, we should start making money for the rest of the year. Yes. Ready to harvest. All right, let's take our grasses as well. So I think what we'll do, well, we'll get the huge box out of the way, but we'll get our worker set up and start cutting the grass for us while we harvest. So I think this one will have take care of mowing. See, it's already prepped. You will be in charge of reconfiguring that to be able to be a trailer again. And yeah our second opportunity to use our combine. Awesome, all right, let's get this prepped. All right, the lawnmower's all prepped. We're gonna get this into gear and set up, and I think we'll hop back and get the trailer reconfigured as well before we start, and yeah, this is, oh, it's gonna be a grind. Get over to our little workshop here. That should be good, should be within the zone. Oh, no, oh, 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 there we go. Customize, and we want to standard, yes. Standard configuration. And that will do. So we are gonna want to figure out how to keep some of this because we do want to get chickens and this will be the chicken feed. So that will be a problem for later on. So let's go ahead, we'll get that prepped here. And hop back into the harvester. Oop, got to turn it back on. Lower it. Yeah, how do we want to do this? Oh, man. Go ahead and get that kicking. Thank. Oops, drop some straw where we don't want it, but that's okay. Oh, this thing's so slow. Oh, man. This has got to be one of the next things we, we look at replacing so this field should have been prepared pretty well for this harvest so we should get a pretty good yield as good as possible on this type of soil oh yeah let's see can can we do it 13% already that seems to be filling up pretty good too yeah all right Have some bales to sale as well. Which I don't think we have any purpose or we're not going to anytime soon for keeping those. So yeah, let's uh, get this grind away and uh, rejoin you or enjoy it while we do it. Well, that didn't take long, so that's very, very promising for our financial outlook here that we're getting already a full harvester with not even doing a single headland. So yeah, I got I got high hopes for this. I didn't think about that. Oh no, oh no, we're stuck good. There we go. Oh, the height is just off a little bit. So this should take plenty of loads of the hopper here and yeah I think the capacity is like 12,000 or something on this trailer so we should be able to get a good good amount hopefully it fills it up at least once ah, it'll be interesting to see
Well, we got 4,300, so I wanted to take this opportunity to head over this direction, and we're going to purchase our chicken coop, and this should be good. Let's hop out here. I think right around this area is where I want to put it. Let's go to animals, chickens, and then we have some of these mods that we, we've got, so we can have 40 in either one. Why is this one cheaper? Because it looks beat up. This one looks newer. Yeah, this one's brick. Let's do that. Let's see. Overlaps with an object. Try to save as much as we can here. Um, let's go like right there. All right. Very cool. So now, there we go. This is where we purchase them. So I think we want to do, let's see, let's select, we'll do like 20, just to save a little bit of money of these already ready to reproduce chickens and produce eggs as well. And then we'll go up here and we'll do like, since we can maybe just let them reproduce the rest. Oh, it's so cheap though. Yeah, we'll just buy them. We'll just buy them. All right, and then let's see, we should be able to just come on over here and dump this. And hopefully the chickens get out of the way. But we have animals. This is exciting. Oh, this is going to be a picky one, huh? Oh, no. There we go. We have to get that close. Oh, we know for next time. Let's see how much it takes out of this 4,300. Hmm, a little over, under 1,000, just 800? 750, so I wonder if we're going to have to fill that up pretty often. So we might need to get a silo. Which is expensive, but we do have a mod one that we're going to potentially use, and we'll, we'll visit that later. Let's go ahead and get this finished though. Well, I guess it holds 8,000, so we're gonna go ahead and head up north and get this sold. And I think the rest we'll keep for the chickens, but we'll take an opportunity to go make a little bit of cash right now. Productions definitely would be nice because this money is not gonna be great. Woo, that was cool. But yeah, let's get up this hill and see, I, it's gonna be like three grand maybe. Ooh, 5,300. All right, a little bit better, but yeah, not a lot of money in that. Those fields aren't huge, so oh, it's going to be a grind being able to afford productions, but that's going to be the key, and I think getting some animals in here for extra money, maybe some bees as well. We should look at that, and yeah. Arr. Oh, oh, sorry. All right, got the wind rowing going. We'll be able to come right behind that and bail, which will be perfect. Yeah, awesome. So we're really close to filling up this one. We're at 82%. I'm not sure we're gonna get, well, let's see, what's the math here? We need about 1,500. That doesn't seem like it's gonna be able to do it. Ah, uh, yeah, so we'll be just under that full. We'll keep it, we'll just keep it in that trailer for now until we can figure out exactly what we're gonna do with a silo. We might look around for some used ones and see if we can relocate them to our property. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Well, we got close. We'll get close to filling this up. Let's get the, you know, why not? We'll get the little pieces here. Maybe a liter or two. Two liters. Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah. Well, 7,700. So we're gonna, just going to park this near the chicken coop just so it's ready for next time we can just connect to it and dump it and that should be good and then we'll check on our wind rowing and potentially get ready to start bailing that looks like it's going good yeah making some good progress over here 16 minutes left on the clock just getting the last of these bales wrapped we had a pretty good productivity here. Uh, 30, 35. 35 is what we ended up with. Come on, you can get You can do it. You can do it. No, yep, there we go. Still trying to get the hang of this. 
First person still seems to be the best route for me. Oh, oh. We get that one? We did not. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a little later in the in the month than I was hoping it was when we got this done. So we're limited on what we can do. Right now we have the wind rower running. We've got a worker running the wind rowing on the straw. So that should be good to get taken care of. We should be able to bail that while we saw light. It might be getting pretty dark, but we'll see how that goes. I'll go ahead and get the rest of these loaded and regroup with you. All right, we just got the last one loaded and parked over there so we can get out of the way. Once this is done, we should be able to just hit R, have him unload, and we'll get the wrapper out of the way as well so that we can easily pick these up next time. I need to find a good place to store the Hybrid X. Uh-oh, it's stuck. It's going to have to stay right there for now. Still only 0.7 hours on that. Not bad. It's been doing good work for us. But yeah, you can see plenty of silage. Should be a pretty good payday once it ferments. Yeah. We'll go ahead and leave those there for now. Make sure automatic drop is on. And we'll get a little bit of straw to make some money for the end of the month here. We don't need to keep any of it yet. We will when we get cows, but as of now, we have no use for it. So let's go ahead and bust this out and see what we're going to get. My guess is about seven, maybe? Maybe we'd be lucky to get seven. Yeah, we'll go with seven. I'm probably way off, but that's what we're going to go with. Well, that was bail number seven, I believe. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I was close. We'll probably get eight here. Possibly, we'll see. There's a little bit of scraps around that we could pick up as well if we're a little short after this last row. Swath here. Nice little sharp turn. Let's see, we're at 38%, climbing to 50. It's gonna be close. Should be able to get that eighth one. And yeah, definitely. Beautiful. Well, one more than I thought. A couple hundred bucks in our, our name there. Between all these bales. All right, we made it over here. I'm hoping for about, I don't know, 2,500. That'd be kind of nice right now. Let's see. Wow. My estimates have been terrible. That was a pleasant surprise. I guess that will do. Man, these hills gotta go. These hills gotta go. Alright, we're sitting at 19,000 because I'm guessing the leasing just kicked off for this. Yeah. Hello. Oh. See how the chickens are doing. Oh, yeah, we got a couple eggs here. You ladies here, do some work for us. Today we're going to harvest this oat field over here that we're looking at. Super excited about that. Yeah, we'll get that going. But then we got a nice surprise when we turn around. We've got a silo. You can see we're sitting at $10,000. This was a deal we worked up with an existing farmer in a different town. And we had it transported. And we got it a good deal on it. It was just $5,000 for us to get it here and installed they were getting rid of it so it was a good deal that we worked out let's get this tipped because we're going to need this trailer for the oats and then i did check the weather forecast we got some rain coming in so we're going to have to do the oats first i was going to lime two of our fields but we can do that later on but yeah now we got nice storage for some of our goods that we are going to want to keep especially the grain there that we just put in there some barley seven thousand five hundred. but yeah let's take a look at this so this is a mod that came with one of the packs that I downloaded, a trailer farm building. You can see here it does hold a lot. I don't think that's anything we're going to really take advantage of, but it was a nice cheap mod there. But yeah, so the story we're sticking with is we made a nice trade. Huge upgrade for the farm. All right, well, let's get this in place close to where we think a good drop-off place will be. 
and then we'll get the harvester all prepped. Very, very interested to see how this turns out yield-wise here. Let's hop right into it. Oh, I didn't think we... Oh, okay. I didn't think this kind of crop it gave us straw. So that's a nice little extra bonus that I wasn't expecting. Very nice. That's a little bit extra cash we'll get. This field is quite a bit bigger than the one we did last episode. So it'll be very, very interesting to see what kind of money we make from it. And I got to get all the way over there, don't I? Messing up our lines already. Yeah, we'll definitely see how this goes. It's going to be a lot of loads, I believe. And the capacity of this thing, it's a little troublesome. So as we make some money, we might want to look around at the sales or some some used potential harvesters and, and maybe also look on Mod Hub and, and see if I can find some other more affordable ones that are a little bit better than this one. I think the capacity bothers me more than the size. It's just a lot. We're going to get maybe halfway around this and have to unload. And that's really the, the biggest issue I see right now with this harvester. I was gonna join you here in a second, but then the worker messed up. I, we really gotta we gotta solve that problem with the uh, with the trailer. Let's see what this worker does, and then we'll take that trailer. Well, we got a little time. Let's check the location of where we're gonna take our oats. Um, railroad silo. All right, am I doing the math right there? I am. Okay, so that is going to be. Is zoom out here. It is the same place we've been taking stuff. Okay. But I want to see if the worker will go ahead and hop in this tractor and get ready, and we'll just watch the worker and make sure the broken area doesn't mess them up. But they're definitely going to be full before we get back. All right, what you doing? What you doing? Well, we'll see what that looks like when we get back, but let's uh, try to rush up there so we can not lose too much time with this worker. I was hoping to get two full loads. I don't think that's going to be the case, but oats are worth a little bit more than other crops, so we'll see. This should be a little over $9,000. Let's get there. Once again, we're here, and it looks like the train is just about to pass. There it goes. Ooh, struggling up that hill a little bit. 
Yep, 80% full. That's expected. But let's see. We'll get in here pretty good. And we should be fine timing-wise before that train comes back. But you never know. Moment of truth. Let's see how we're doing. Nothing to complain about there. Nice. 10,000 bucks. Much, much needed. All right, here we are with 12 bales of straw. We got that field completed. Did a little bit of work off camera. We had to... Well, what do we got here? Ooh, about $9,000. I'll take that. We had to do a little bit of... Uh, fast forwarding or lunch breaking while we had another storm just right at noon it was about an hour long so that's why it's already 3 p.m. 1500 so we'll head back now and take a look at the uh, that trailer that we left there it's about a half full of oats so we'll have to pick that up and take it to the store before I do that I did want to check our lime and see what we have in store in store in hand so that we can decide if we need to purchase some while we're near the store when we go sell the grain or the oats. So that's what we're going to do next. So it looks like there are no bags around and we have 5,000 liters, which means we probably want a bag or two to do the grass field and both of these two grain fields here. Though it might be enough because we just need to top it off to catch it up to the percentage it needs to be. So let's see what it looks like. This one, yeah, like it just needs 0.25 improvement of pH. So maybe we can get away with it, but I think I'll buy one bag just in case. We'll use it eventually. We got this all hooked up. We got 5,700 liters. So we'll take that to the train station there and get some money. Should be good. All right, we're here. Hopefully we don't get smashed by the train. I just checked its location. It should be far enough away if we move quick enough here. Still don't see it on the mini map, so we should be okay. All right, and we're up to 34,000 after that, so it's been a pretty good day. And then our silage, I don't think we'll be ready. That's probably gonna be August, if not late tonight. So let's go ahead and head over to the store and check on some lime. They're only 350, so I think I'll buy two. And then before we pick them up, we'll go and reconfigure our trailer. We could do the forks, but I don't know if we'll be able to carry both of them without tipping. Without some of those back wheels picking up there. Whoops. We want... that's what we want. And we want auto-loading on. Perfect. Now we should be able to just pick these guys up. And take them home. Maybe we're not going to be able to get close enough here. Sharp turns. There we go. Fill it on up. Alright, and it did take both bags and we're at 66%. So hopefully, trailer, I'm sorry. But hopefully we have enough here. And I think we'll start with the field we just harvested. Why not? Go about right here. And let's see how we do. It should be a very small amount. It is saying 4.3. 3.5 now. There we go. That's what I like to see. 1.75. 1. 1. Take 
I think we're missing a little bit there. I think we might want to resample this area to get an updated sample set. Definitely think that's something that we'll do soon. Let's go ahead and loop around here. Lined up. Turn it on. And let's back up a little bit. Yeah, getting a nice, good coverage. We'll go ahead and get this done. Hopefully we have enough for all three fields. Well, two are done and we only have 13% left. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to do this field, but we're gonna give it a shot. Might have to get a little bit more or just deal with it. We'll see. We'll see, it's 2.3 per hectare. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna be a little bit mo more than what we have. We get close enough here. Figured this field small enough to not have to worry about using GPS to, to cover it with lime. I apologize if I've been calling it salt. I get them confused for some reason. They look very similar. Very different things, though. Last pass here. Looking promising. 6% still. We should be able to do it and possibly get that spot we missed as well. Very nice. There is that line there in that field. We could go back and do that. Let's go ahead and get some of these spots that were missed. That little one over there, I'm not going to worry about. This one was kind of large, though. Yeah, that one did not cover it because of a little bit of a game glitch there. And this one, okay, that got covered. Let's see if we can use the last 4% here. In this tiny little strip. Looking promising. Very cool. All right, that job is done. Let's go ahead and fold that up. And let's go check on the silage and see how close we are. Are we going to have to wait till August? And the chickens. We'll probably check on them in a little bit, too. Looks like this could use some fertilizer. It does need it. Here we're at 47%. Yeah, that's, that's looking like early August morning. Let's see. Let's see what we are with, with, uh, with the nitrogen. Oh, it looks like we do have some available. And we'll have to go get the gator. 
All right, it's all prepped. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We should be able to see where we're at by doing this, right? Yeah, except for this one spot up here. And we're definitely going to override the speed. Lock it in at 15. Probably a little too fast. Let's chill that down just a hair. Very nice. Yeah, we'll get this done and uh, we should be looking pretty good for July. Looks like we did miss a few spots, but if I roll over them, it's just a little bit of coloration issue with the rendering, I believe, where it just doesn't spray those areas because they're already sprayed. This one will spray a little bit. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and shut it off, fold it up. Only used about 70%. That's pretty nice for, yeah, for an entire field this size. You might want to think about splitting this in half and getting another crop going eventually, but it just seems to be our, our big money maker. Hard to make that decision. We got some cleanup to do, like always. Lazy man doesn't put his tools away. How you doing, chickens? Yeah, moving a little slow. We might need a couple of these. Might need a couple of them. Yeah, it's pretty pretty eventful day. We got our oats all harvested we're gonna have a couple months until we are able to harvest the soybeans so we got two fields to prep for their next crop I haven't decided yet probably should have taken care of the weeds this month but when we plant when we plant the seed it'll also take care of that so yeah i don't know let me know if you have any ideas on the type of crops we should do and all of that i am socks way up thanks for hanging out i will join you on the next episode